Well, another thing that I saw that was pretty cool as I'm just looking at our whiteboards around here is that I went to a school and I was uh, talking about um, like yeah. how to do websites and stuff. And on there they had uh, one of their new e-boards or I think that was what yeah, it was called. Yeah. I don't know, but they all, everyone, every school in Australia has one of them now. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Well, they've cosmos. just got a little projector up the top and it projects onto the, the whiteboard and you can write on there and do whatever you like. It's no, they don't project it, they're full screens. No, 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 they project it. No, it's no, a projector. No. Yeah. You can touch it and interact. They've got a camera up there to detect it. You sure? Okay, well, the ones I've seen, are, they're just... Um, they're just screens integrated, where they're not projected. Yeah, it's like a really tiny, it's like the projector's right up there and it comes down. Well, that might be the camera, but I'm not sure. It can detect you just directly where you are and it's like, wow, really, really cool. Yeah. And like, that's another thing, just a nice simple thing that you can change and make awesome. See, touch activated taps, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. But they've got the, the, there's one they've been uh, advertising on telly lately. Um, uh, not touch activated, but uh, hand scented soap. Hand scented. No, no, censored. Like they scented. Sensor. Scented. <laughs> the, the whole thing is like, oh, every time you touch your soap pump, you know, you're putting germs on it. So yeah. we've created this cool thing where like it senses your hand and dispenses soap onto so it. That's, so that's you cool. touch it. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's cool, but I don't want to pay premium for that because it's yeah. really not worth it. Well that that's <laughs> true, that's true. Yeah. It's just lots of little kind of cool things that it made me think. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. like yeah. We should talk about our singularity topic. Yes. Future Shock. Dun dun dun. What is Future Shock? Uh, future Shock is a lot like Culture Shock. Uh, instead of being, st when you go into a new culture and you're like, oh my god, what is happening here? This is all so crazy and new. It's uh, happening with the future because we're advancing so fast. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, this is the future. What the hell is going on? Oh my god, this is scary. So it just, it's really the point where it hits that the exponential so fast that subjectively, because it'll happen to different people at different, at different mm -hmm. times, that are just going too fast for them to really keep up with and they just get frightened by it and scared and you know what I think is this is going to be known like when there's a, a mass number of people who will all feel future shock together I think that's going to be the singularity the singularity <laughs> that's what people that's are going to scary. acknowledge as the singularity because that's where they all get scared they all want to name this big fear name this big fear because we're advancing too fast yeah. what do we have that's all about that the singularity and then hopefully governments won't have enough power to jump in and stop it then. Well, I see, I don't know. <laughs> they could, yeah. Well, yeah they'll, they'll try, though. Oh, yeah. They'll, yeah, they'll try to, to mitigate the we need risk and say... to slow this down. Yeah, that's it's true. going too far. <laughs> yeah. We can't relate. We can't do all of this. Like, why are we letting a computer and the internet dictate our lives? Yeah. It was never this way back in the good old days. <laughs> yeah. So, and that, that's what I think, so, yeah, probably yeah. Future Shock's going to be. And it, it's to a lot of interesting things because it's approaching the, the well, singularity it's... from another angle, really. But yeah. From fear, from fear. <laughs> rather, which than is which is what a lot. More glory to the hypnotoid. Sorry, okay. that's that. Yeah, I guess that's what a lot of um humans kind of base their yeah selves on them. Their motivations are ruled by fear, and people rule them by fear. Well, it's it's a very important subsector. People like people are going to be scared of the singularity. Like people are going to be scared of the future coming, and yeah. that's going to be big. And I, it'll be interesting to see what road it takes. Like, I mean, I think you really hit on it good point there that the government's probably going to intervene or try okay. it because I mean people want to feel like secure well because I think that, um, especially with social media like very possibly even in the t next 10 years I'm not gonna yeah I'm not gonna be sold on this prediction but you know governments won't be such a big part of our society anymore I don't think because yeah I mean it, social media it's essentially people can cooperate themselves amongst each other yeah. if they're given the right platform why yeah. do we need this you know benevolent dictator sitting on top of us telling us you have to pay us taxes or we'll send you yeah, to jail do all of this to do people all this stuff organize. when people can organize and do it themselves it's going to be very interesting to see what rises up out of that i think yeah, there might even it. be like a, a third thing like you've got government sector and private sector there might even be like a third one of the well more volunteer sector rise up i guess it isn't a third because it already exists right now but mm. something more related to the net or towards that platform where people can be like, okay, let's you know, help out. And it's, stuff. Like it's, like, it's kind of like social media and narco capitalism. Mm. But anyway, it's kind of deviating a bit. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, this, this future stock is uh, it's based on a book that was written by the sociologist and futurist Alvin Toffler in mm. 1970. So go read that. Um, well, don't it. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I'm not going to either. No, I don't it's... have the time. <laughs> um, but well, actually... The idea is just great. Yeah, but... Um, Something I wanted to say kind of in reverse of it, I don't know what the term is is for it, and I was trying to like look for it before we started this. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think, like, obviously we don't think we're in Future Stock Shock stage yet. At least yeah. not for us. There is the whole, we should probably mention the whole digital divide thing. Well, what about our grandparents? Yeah. Our grandparents are our Future Shock. Like, my, my grandma still doesn't have a computer. Oh, really? Yeah, that's really difficult to spend time at her place. Well, she doesn't understand why I'm always staring at this rectangle. Really. Well, uh, both my Nana and Nana's have... Why can't we get Nana and Nana? They have, they have computers. They've got dial-up still, which wow. is a bit 10 years behind. But, yeah. And we had to pretty much, like, you know, really push one of them into getting a computer. Hmm. And even mobile phones. Like, they're scared of mobile phones. Yeah, well, my... Uh, uh, actually, my grandma doesn't have one either. Oh, no, she has one for emergencies. But, but they never pick them up. They don't know how to no, use them. They don't, yeah. <laughs> And that's probably going to we're probably going to start seeing that a lot more and more. Like the age, since that that's a good way to actually look at this. Future shock has already happened in a certain segment of the population, yeah, it's and it's probably going to start being more and more and more as it goes down. Probably age is a good way to do it. Yeah, probably won't be the only. Like, it, and I think age is like more than just like we we consider ourselves young and hip and. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I've never considered myself hip, and I'm proud to say that. <laughs> Yogan See that just, that just shows we do the boogie every Friday night. That just shows we're already too old. Oh yeah. <laughs> Wait, but yeah, like, but we consider like you know people <laughs> over like forty or fifty to be old, and they really st- a lot of most of them struggle with like technology, yeah, even basic things. Yeah. But I mean, um, think of people younger than us. Like they're picking up um some of the social media stuff and some of the the new sort of niche things on the net far more quicker than we. I'd love to actually be like look at a high school like sociologically. And just See, work it out. Yeah, well, like, even have access to their phones and, like, not like <laughs> that, but to just to see how they use it. But, I mean, yep. everything that I'm doing right now can really be traced back to a lot of stuff, like, during a teenager and spending a lot of time on, like, say, forums and stuff and using the web. Yeah. You can really just say, oh, well, 10 years from now, they're probably going to be doing a lot of the same thing, da da da. Do that now with kids, this, well, kids, teenagers now, and you can actually see what will be happening in 10 years. Yeah. Well, so that's why I'm worried, like, 10 years from now, we're going to be old and out of date, and it's going to be yeah. very difficult for us even to keep very. up with technology. Our reality is going to be very... Yeah, there. and we're going to be stuck, whereas people, you know, who are growing up now, they're going to mm-hmm. be, like, up with it. <laughs> getting jiggy. <laughs> getting jiggy with it. Oh, and God. all hip and stuff up in that thing. Yeah. For shiz. Mm. Um, but, yeah, what I was going to say is... Um, I think at the moment we're in the opposite stage where things have actually moved so fast in such a short period of time, but we don't care. Yeah. In, in, or in the sense that we haven't noticed, which is weird. Like, like you and me, we both we're in our, we're, okay, we're both twenty three at the moment. Are we? Yeah, I think. Um, and we both grew up with uh, like Apple twos. Like, what was your first computer? You remember? Uh, two eight six. Yeah. Oh, two eight six. Oh, two eight six. Yeah. Yeah, like, in that sort of area, and, like, through high school, in, like, starting high school, we were on dial-up. Yeah, Which was that. a pain. Oh, we I, only, I, we only got, like, one, 120, no, oh, like, what was, 256 broadband? Right. Was, like, only mid-high school, like, maybe year 10. That was well, so that, that, was, that was for you, yeah, I didn't get um, broadband until, yeah. um, oh, I, I don't know, I think about year 12, because I, I lived in Canberra, and in about grade 9, we moved just as broadband came. I was very, very angry about that. Yeah. I remember thinking six kilobytes a second was absolutely fantastic. If I could get a stream <laughs> of six kilobytes a second, overnight I could have my movie downloading and I might have it in the morning if it didn't drop out. And now we're pissed off that we can't get one gig. Yeah, second. I know. I was like, oh, come on. Like, give us one gig. Too gigu. slow. Yeah, we, we've really adapted fast and just get angry at the smallest yeah. things when we're not realizing and not like being amazed. Like uh, YouTube 2005, um, Facebook around like 2006, 2007. 2005, yeah. 2005, the same sort of area. I think, yeah, two, yeah six. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, like our phones, like That's amazing. The big thing at the moment is the phone. Our phone, like the, the 3G on the phones right now, it's always connected, always online, <laughs> or like to the world, and it's faster than our dial-up was. Well, faster than I- ISDN, I had that, yeah. I thought, yeah, two things together, that'd be great. And it's crazy, and like, I just, I, I, I finally rooted it, got signed gym model in there now. Why not? So I just mentioned that. It's very fast. fast. It. It, and actually, I, I think it doubled the speed, but still, it's a, it's a really old Android phone, so it Bam. didn't give it that big of a boost, but still, so the fact that you can just update software and just, boom, it's, yeah, there's new stuff there. I mean, the fact that we're recording this now, this is crazy. Like, five years ago, this would have been incredibly expensive. Yeah, ridiculously amazing. Like, the, I remember doing, uh, I just saw recently, some old uh, pictures from high school. 
Mm. And I think you commented on, on Facebook saying that um, it's amazing that uh, people were actually... I was taking pictures of people on the last day of school. Yeah, and, like, and they were like... What are you doing? I, I, I was recording a movie. And I was like, what, you can do that on a camera? Like, you and, and you're saying, you saying, with sound, with sound. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was like, it's with sound. It's amazing. Like, but wow. see, even I was telling people about that now. And I was like, oh, we had cameras back then that could do that. But I don't, they didn't realize at the time. Though, like, people... It's just so normal now. See, like, that, that, things are changing. Best. Yeah. A future show. I think. I know, but that's. Uh, what's the name for that? Like. Uh, well, yeah. But at, at least that, that Lewis C. Clark talk, the whole. Uh, yeah, on Conan. <laughs> Everything's oh, amazing. <laughs> we just don't realize. Nobody. Yeah. Well, I, I think it is kind of. It is still future shock. I think that it's just a, a a large segment of the population right now is adapting really fast to it. But as we're seeing with our yeah. like grandparents and stuff, there is a segment of the population that's Levels. not adapting to it. That they're, they're really like just saying, no, no, not adapting, don't care about that, don't care. And that yeah. segment, as, as we approach the singularity, it's probably going to exponentially increase until we get a very, very large segment of the population just going, nope. Yeah, just had enough. Yeah, just that's it. It's just like, no, nah, don't. <laughs> yeah, I can't, can't do this. Or maybe all the, all the younger generation essentially become consultants to yeah, that's teach true. all the older generation that's how to very use true. Them. A bit like what we're trying to do now. <laughs> yes, <Yeah. laughs> we're Terry, yeah. Teach people, uh, you know, in the older generations, how to use social media. How to actually join your businesses in, how to actually be... they're like, a lot of them are scared of Facebook and Twitter and they don't have no idea how to use them. And, it's, and it just seems words are like, oh God, I need to know what this is, I need to know what this is. And you're like, okay, we'll learn. We'll just do this. Yeah, it's not that difficult, we can show you. But it's, it's weird that there's such a... That it's, it's weird that there's such a gap in such a shorter time yeah and that's going to get worse and so we're going to end up in that segment where we'll need to go find younger people to oh god yeah teach us how to do things well because we're going to be stuck this way and saying look why can't they just use reddit and dig and twitter that was how we <laughs> did it back in the day we don't need their fancy plant that's what the new thing's going to be called plant okay <laughs> yeah cool I think that's that we exhausted everything with the, I think with so. That. I think so. Yeah. One thing I would like to say that I, I nostalgia wise, mm -hmm. it was lots of fun spending time at my grandparents' place on their dial up modem because I'd go and download old games and play them just for days. It was good times. <laughs> like, you know, three hundred kilobyte games. I thought I was like in heaven because I could download any game I wanted. Because you're limited. Yeah, well, well it wasn't even limited, it was just when I first discovered, even with dial up, that I could download any old game that I wanted. It was great. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like when you get, when you have a computer and you've got no net, like, what do you do? You just, yeah. you play games, solitaire or... Yeah, well, that's it. I haven't, had, I haven't had a browser for two days because I got a virus. The first virus yeah. I've had in, like, five years, and it was a really bad one. So even that was never the case. You had a computer, you used it to... Yeah, that was it. ...do web processing and playing games. You never were on the net. No. The net Whereas was now a weird thing. You use your computer to go onto the net. <laughs> yeah. You have to. A la Chrome OS. <laughs> Indeed. Anyway, cool. Oh, well, I think that's pretty good. Yay! Drink a single beer. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, oh. send us your comments, any questions. Yeah, anything? tell us what you miss and what you love and what you think and all of that. Yeah. Tell us what you love. Definitely. Cool. Uh, you, Grace, yeah. later. Where's that dealy? What's it? Oh, that's <laughs> right. I'm Tristan Grace. I'm Nathan Waters. Speed 945. Yeah, we totally forgot to mention that was episode 30. Episode 30 for the win! Woo! <laughs> Cheers, dude. Yes! Indeed. Mm-hmm. We're sculling it, are we? Okay. No. <laughs> Frozeny. Cool. To the future, guys. Is to that. And to future mockery of these videos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just in the future. Just laugh hey, but, a bit. But if, if some of our predictions are right, we can always look back to this and be like, see? Tristan, in the see. future, blow me. Mm.